it is. Alright, yeah. He'll, he'll get it sooner than later. Yeah, actually. Pretty soon, actually. Yeah, but we don't even have time to talk about One Piece, as much as I would love to. Um, but we got Snake and Rob. Three, two, Starting off on PS2. Go! Pretty standard stage for Snake to start out a set. Just being like, he really likes those platforms to work around. You have to find your way to him on the other side of the stage. But Rob definitely likes the space as well. And this is one of those where it's a projectile war of two of the best zoners in the game. And both can definitely oh, make man. it happen, but Rob is just such a big body that he's going to be getting pegged by a lot of those grenades. And a quick 98%. That was the meatiest of media up airs that I've seen Snake in a long time. Epic Dave just kind of getting rattled to start with this off, but that doesn't matter when you're Rob and can press side B. Quick 61% back. Oh, what are you going to do against Gyro? You're going to jump, side... Wow, grenade, just the saver. Paul Kage definitely has to be careful with those low recoveries Ooh. being that down air, but getting the Yeah, you can't be quick by the gyro. Into side B. Gyro just into everything. You do not want to be playing with that thing. Around up till. Doesn't even need the grab. Getting the C4 on the left platform, trying to cover that space. Gyro in hand, but it does not matter. Grenade in hand for snake. So much damage. And the thing about Dave is he's definitely much more of a boxer than you expect from a Rob player. And when Paul Kage has all those grenades set up, you do not want to be there. Like, you're just taking a grenade hit every single time you throw out a move on AK's shield. Yeah, Rob, it feels like Rob definitely loses the projectile war in this matchup. Like, Gyro just does not take up that same space as Grenade. If there's a way for Rob to pressure Snake's shield a little more, because Snake do snakes do hold a lot of, hold shield a lot. You gotta get over there first. Yeah, I mean that's the, that's what I'm saying. Like, if there's a way. Oh. <laughs> and getting <laughs> the slight hurt box shift with the down smash charge, taking a stock from mid stage at 110 with the down smash. It was like a half charged down smash. Just explodes for 30% there with the, the C4 and the grenade. Man, <laughs> gosh. taking so much damage off these trades. I mean, there's just not... We can't go five seconds without Epic Gabe exploding from something. And still just trying to find a way to get a Paul Kage into the corner and get another side B kill. But man, Paul Kage not letting that happen after that no. first stock. Like, AK's got a, a really big lead, and the last thing that he's going to do is approach. Kind of back him out in the corner there. Nice weight on the back there. They're taking that stock. Yep. Rob can take a uh, stock at any percent, so absolutely still in this. Oh man, the, I, AK is, be, is baiting me into thinking that he's gonna like make a committal option. I thought he was gonna back air there, but not. Nah, oh no, there's the back air. I'll be honest, I thought that the C4 was on Rob because his laser is fully lit up. Oh. Because it has like the same coloring as the C4. I'm just, you know, I'm just enamored by all the flashing lights and the C4 is kind of escaping my field of view at the moment. It's not down right now, I, I, I don't think. You know, it's currently not on deck, but... Which kind of part of the problem here, trying to keep it as a defensive option, but Gabe figuring out how to play around these grenades really bring this one back. Is it a little now too late? To it is a little take too it. late. Game one going to AK. Yeah, but that was far from a like like you were saying at this top level. In-game adaptations is is crucial, and Epic Gabe was looking like he was getting washed, and then slowly but surely figuring things out, learning how to approach, getting the damage, getting the stocks, and that was a last-hit situation. And that's where once again. Being best of five, that really works in Gabe's favor to work his way back into this set. And he liked how that end of that game went, so he did run it back to PS2. And I think that's a good idea, just being that those grenades weren't deterring him as much as they were at the start of that game. So we'll see if he can keep that momentum going into the game too. Uh oh. I mean, that was a smart air dodge to get the gyro and get back to stage, but it's not working out in his favor. Ooh. Being a little overzealous with these edge guards. AK looking oh. comfortable, but oh, just like that, the down air. 
and Epic Gabe is in business. Big damage, Gyro. <laughs> I mean, that's the Gyro combo we've all seen since day one. Jeez, Gets already at 80% of the second stock. Gabe is not letting him get away to set up this minefield. Setting up a little bit on the ledge, but still, Gabe getting right back into the middle, using the Gyro as a setup. Nothing. AK back onto the stage. Now at 118%. Yo, man. Gabe is tanking this first star. AK definitely has his work cut out for him to bring it back in this game, too. Up Gets tilt. the up tilt. That's one way to get it going. But Gabe sitting very pretty with this lead right now. Can he get the edge guard? Nice wait by AK, knowing the down air was coming. Got Yeah, you got to jump on stage. Oh, man. Almost getting that C4 to hit. But yeah, just setting up this laser wall, trying to keep away from those grenades. Does not want to give AK any free damage. AK was playing with fire with that gyro. Barely hitting. It looks like Gabe is trying to put the gyro near or around the C4. Oh, man. I mean, AK is slowly chipping away at this. That was insane. Oh, man. Dropping shield on the down smash, kind of surprising, but Gabe with a very healthy lead in this game, too. Answering back really well. Down tilt, not getting the follow-up. Does not have access to Gyro right now. The grenades playing really well. AK got him in the corner. Can he finish the job, finish this play, and get it down to a last stock situation? Oh, that Nair has something to say about that. Epic Gabe back into stage control. Oh, missing the air no. dodge. Very uncharacteristic from AK. He's Bad just, angle. He's really precise with those air dodges, but man, he was just getting harassed off stage. That game was that game was rough. Gabe saw something in game one and exploited the hell out of it in game two. <laughs> yeah, Gabe definitely has a very strong advantage state, so once he gets an understanding of how to get in, that was definitely the biggest problem that he had in that first game. He 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 got an inch and took it a mile on every yeah. stock in that game too. I mean I feel like that's what you gotta do against Snake as well. Like, Snake is just so stay away from me that you really just got to maximize every interaction. Now, Hollow Bastion, counterpick for AK here. Yeah, interesting counterpick. I don't know if he's trying to take up that space in the middle of the stage with those projectiles. Definitely very comfortable on Smashville. So that makes sense. Just, I, I don't think he liked how that game two went, or, where he just could not keep Rob out, so he's gonna try to take a different approach here on the smaller stage. Also, it minimizes Gabe's ability to approach from the air and center stage. Have that platform just in his way. Yeah, getting the platform extension gets the re-grab. This game definitely going a lot better for AK than the last one. Not getting washed in the first stock is a big help. Uh oh, oh Gyro, grenade. But getting saved by a grenade there. Oh, that's the first time I've, we've really seen Nikita. Yeah, I mean, it's just, there's really no reason to put out against Rob, who you know ha just has a lot of flexibility in his in his recovery. That was an up, that was an up air. I just, I was I was feeling the up tilt, but man, yeah, there it is. Not afraid of those down tilts, just holding his ground. Yeah, I think Gabe was expecting a defensive option that didn't come, but yeah, Snake being so heavy, he lives that up air. Can AK get some extra credit here? Yes. Yes, he can. Oh and yeah, that 10%? Yeah. yeah. That's failing, just saying. That 10% no. is the difference between an A and a B. Yeah, gain, gain the up air there, taking the stock. Not too far behind, just a little bit of damage. You're seeing AK be more the aggressor in this game three. Just trying to not let uh, Gabe dictate the pace. Even oh. in the corner. You're covering everything. Just double grenade on the ledge. Mm. Wow, I, okay. AK's a better player than me, but it seemed like an option there would have hit. Like a back air. Well, sometimes you just gotta, you gotta wait in those situations just to see what their option is when you let them play it. Like, cause sometimes you can punish what happens afterwards later in the set. It is a long set after all. And yeah. this one looks like it's probably gonna go the distance to game five. I mean, we're as even as even gets right now. It's yeah, kill that's... percent for both characters. Actually, I have no, I don't really know. Like, it seems like both of these characters will live a big, a meaty hit. 
Up tilt will absolutely take it for Snake, but yeah. Oh, barely missing the up smash. Wow! How did that C4 not hit? Spot dodge, baby! Wow. Gabe just playing really well around Snake's options. Like, was playing around that up tilt up until then really well. That was a massive call out for Gabe. Like, spot dodging the C4 into getting the up smash is. Uh oh. That's levels of play and knowledge that. Oh, C4? It was a nice tech from, from Gabe. Though, like, you do not want to be in a tech read situation. This game, this game three has really been defined by how long can AK keep Gabe in the corner. That's really been where he's been getting a lot of his damage. It, and it's made Gabe have to fight his way out and take a lot of percent. Oh, just barely missing the, the forward air. Also, Gabe has been using gyro a lot to kind of negate one of the grenades that Snake throws out. But just makes it difficult for AK to set up because he's having to deal with that that gyro having to shield. But yeah, this sort of gets scary for Gabe. Up till we'll absolutely take it now. Took a hold of that gyro, so now Gabe does not have access to it. Oh, Throws it off away. stage though. Now Gabe charging it, getting it. Wow. Uh, double down tilt. Wow. Goes for the forward tilt instead of the up tilt though. Nikita straight up. Yeah, an up smash from Rob. And oh, the read was wrong! Still got it anyway, 158 for Rob. Rob is an absolute rage monster. But off stage, what's Snake gonna do? Gets the read! Another oh, F no, tilt. Extremely stale. Nikita, it's coming for you! <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing he could do there. Maybe a preemptive <laughs> unfair, but man. But Nikita uh, was coming for his life. <laughs> that Nikita had so much smoke in it. <laughs> Like the Jaws music. <laughs> I didn't think that Nikita was going to be able to uh, wrap around like that. Yeah, Rob's eyes was flashing before his eyes, thinking about his day in Subspace Emissary. All his friends he lost. <laughs> Had nowhere to go. Oh, we got a great song for this game for. Jump up Superstar, baby. No Mario care. Oh, wait. Is Rob considered a Mario character? Rob's considered not a character. He's he's only <laughs> like a video game console. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. I think it was an add-on for the NES. I don't remember exactly what it was. Okay. I think it was that. Well, I remember he was a character in Mario Kart DS. Oh yeah, that was like well after the fact. But while we've been talking about this, AK <laughs> keep building up that momentum from that game three, getting a lot of early damage, just trying to line that final, uh, but. Has the C4 on deck instead. Gabe has done a good job of avoiding those really deadly C4s so far, but not doing it there. No. Nah, wow, I didn't even know the C4 was down over there. Yeah, because most of the game was played on the left side. Gabe definitely forgetting that as well. Oh, off stage. Wow, that's the. Up smash has also not been a huge factor in this set. Well, yeah, I mean, Gabe just really has not been on the ledge much. He's been stuck in the corner, sure, but not really on the ledge. Alright, so. Here. Wow! <laughs> Why Nikita? <laughs> Definitely a missed input from AK there, but not getting punished for it. You got the grenade. Gabe's trying to look a little flustered here. Just trying to find his footing, get this first stock himself back in the game. Alright, I saw the C4 go down on the right side. How do you get in on this wall now? AK just looking really comfortable getting that up there. Yeah. Three stock to one. Whatever Gabe was doing in that in that second game, second game, yeah, take a breath, get an up smash, compose yourself. <laughs> Rob definitely can make this comeback, but AK looking like he wants no part in that. I mean, Snake's really just gonna sit behind two grenades and that C4. Yeah, the, the grenades are just, the trades, like it's definitely just like, a tightening noose when you're behind Snake this for this much late in the yeah. set. It's almost you can just trade all day. Look at that. It's an inevitability that you're gonna trade with Snake on some of these things, and you want to minimize that for sure. But this is big opportunity here for Gabe. He needs this down air. He needed uh, a down air there, and he didn't get it. Got attack. Guest attack. Not that it's really gonna matter. Oh, reading the roll, but off stage. Barely missing some big opportunities here. Man, Cypher. Oh, missing that as well. Trying to get the four, the side B read. Gets the up tilt. Up air will take it. Okay, well, last last stock. 
It can be hard to rob Snake of some early stocks, but Rob can absolutely do it. Man, with Grenade doing that much knockback. Oh, where it'll we got kill a little sooner than later. Got a few hits. Gabe can do this. He's working his way back in. Already has 50%, but that up tilt will absolutely nah. take it. That is AK a finishing out the job and advancing to winner's quarters. That was it was scary for a second. It was like a sliver of hope, but Snake snuffed it out. I mean, if there's a matchup that Paul Kage knows really well, it's a Snake matchup, being that Luma, very good, very good Rob player from St. Louis, top three there. So definitely a matchup that can give Snake some headaches, but he looked very comfortable in it. So almost finishing up our winner's quarter sets here. Oh, uh, finishing up our sets going into winner's quarter. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. So seeing if there's anything left. It looks like we have finished. We might potentially have uh, either Chase Atata or Dark Wizzy Raven King, but it I don't know if those have already been playing. I think I saw 